cooking or cleaning? I prefer cooking because I enjoy the creative um, aspect of cooking. Um, the idea of um, bringing together a number of uh, ingredients and, um, you know, cooking something that's going to taste good. Um, and for these reasons, I enjoy cooking to cleaning. Do I prefer cooking or cleaning? Definitely, I prefer cooking. And uh, I don't mind to cook every meal as long as someone can clean it for me. So if you let me choose, definitely, I prefer cooking. I like both cooking and cleaning because I like doing my own cooking because it can be fun and you can make something that you enjoy to enjoy eating and tastes good and is also healthy. And I also like cleaning because I don't like having a mess in my personal space and I like keeping things organized. So it's nice to keep things clean so you have a less stressful life. Hmm. I prefer cleaning. Cooking is very stressful uh, because I, if you're cooking, you're going to cook for someone else. If I have to cook for myself, I don't mind. I don't really care. I'll eat whatever it is I cook. But if I'm cooking for other people, I have to worry about whether they will like what I make, if, what, if I'll make enough, if I'll have enough courses, uh, will, I, will I make something that someone's allergic to. So it's just very stressful. Cleaning, that's easy. And it, it helps me to uh, relieve stress I prefer cooking because uh, cleaning takes too much energy and I don't really like washing up and getting my hands wet. Plus, uh, I like to come up with new recipes when I <laughs> an experiment in the kitchen. I definitely prefer cooking. Cooking is actually one of my biggest hobbies. I love making food for my friends. I love preparing an elaborate meal for everyone. And I really enjoy throwing dinner parties. The creative aspect. The creative aspect. I enjoy the creative aspect of cooking. The creative aspect is the creative part of something. Notice the following. 1. Most artists love the creative aspect of their profession, but not the business side. 2. I'm good at coding for websites, but I am poor at the creative aspect. Stressful. Stressful. You have a less stressful life. Something that is stressful causes a lot of stress or worry. Notice the following. 1. Taking a test can be stressful. 2. After a stressful day, I like to head to the beach and forget about my day. Allergic. Allergic. I worry I will make something that someone is allergic to. If you are allergic to something that is usually harmless, such as pollen or peanuts, it makes you ill if you come in contact with it. Notice the following. 1. She is allergic to anything with peanuts. 2. Many people are allergic to flower pollen in springtime. Come up with. Come up with. I like to come up with new recipes. Here, come up with means to think of. Notice the following. 1. The students came up with a brilliant idea for the school festival. 2. I see Mackie's Deli has come up with a new sandwich. Elaborate. Elaborate. I love preparing an elaborate meal for everyone. Something that is elaborate is highly designed. Notice the following. 1. The bank robbers had an elaborate plan to rob the bank using helicopter, computers and a monkey. 2. She placed flowers and candles on the table to make it more elaborate. Living together before marriage. Uh, I think people, they should live together because... Because... Um, by living together, you tend to find out, like, the qualities in the partner that you want. And before marriage, it's important to confirm those qualities by living together. 
Mm, I don't think men and women should live together I before marriage. I think that uh, they should make every effort to get to know each other, um, but I don't think they should live together. Uh, I guess more for, for because of moral reasons, my own uh, beliefs, uh, religious beliefs. Um, I think that you can get to know someone, you know your friends, you can get to know them, uh, your girlfriends or your, your male friends, even though they don't live with you. So I don't think there's a need to live together before marriage. People should definitely live together before they get married. Um, you don't really know whether you're going to be able to live with someone until you actually do. Um, you don't really know the real person until you've lived with them and see them at their best and their worst moments. So I think if you're going to get married and spend the rest of your life with someone, I think you should see them in all aspects of life before you take that plunge. Um, I think it depends on the couple or, and the culture. Um, for me, um, I don't think so because it's not official yet that you're married. So, And it's not like my culture to live before you get married. It's usually you get married and then you live together. So I don't think I would get used to that um, culture. I believe that people should live together before they get married because marriage is a, is a permanent contract, basically. And if you do not really know what you're getting into, then you might it might not work out that well. But if you live with someone for a while, then you know exactly what you're getting into and what to expect in the future. Oh, yeah. I think it's, it's really great if people live together first. Uh, that way they get to know each other and they know what it's going to be like. I think quite often... Um, people who, who start living together when they get married, that's when they first start to get to know each other. Qualities. Qualities. Before marriage, it's important to confirm these qualities by living together. Qualities are characteristics about something. Notice the following. 1. That restaurant has all the qualities of a good eatery, great food, good service, and large portions. 2. What qualities do you like in a teacher? Make every effort. Make every effort. I think that they should make every effort to know each other. When you make every effort to do something, that means you do everything you can to make it happen. Notice the following. 1. I made every effort to get to work on time, but I was still late. 2. Good students make every effort to do all the homework the teacher gives them. Religious belief. Religious belief. Because of my religious beliefs, I don't think there's a need to live together before marriage. Religious beliefs are views based on a religion that guide the actions people do in life. Notice the following. 1. She has very strong religious beliefs. She does not drink, smoke, or work on Sunday. 2. We are the same religion, but our religious beliefs are different. Best and worst. Best and worst. Until you've lived with someone, you don't see them at their best and worst. Here, the best and worst refers to what is good and bad about something. Notice the following. 1. After a few beers, you often see the best and worst of people. 2. The test results showed the best and worst results of all the students. Take that plunge. Take that plunge. You should see them in all aspects of life before you take that plunge. Taking a plunge refers to jumping into water, or in this case, doing something that one is afraid or reluctant to do. Notice the following. 1. I finally decided to take the plunge and buy a new house. 2. Last week, I took the plunge and tried karaoke for the first time. Animal care. Hey, I have a favor to ask. I'm going to be out of town for two days, and I was wondering if you could take care of my hamsters. 
you just got to come in and feed them. I'll leave the key in the box. Thank you. Uh, oh, hey, uh, would you mind um, coming over uh, during the week? Uh, I'm going out of town for a few days, and um, my pet cat, just uh, she needs some water and some food. Uh, just maybe if you come by once a day and just make sure that there's some food and water in there for her. That'd be cool. Hi, Sarah. I'm going out for the weekend, and I was wondering if you could go to my house and feed my pet turtle, Seamus. Uh, it shouldn't take too much effort. You just need to give him a few pellets. The food is right underneath his tank. Don't feed him too much because it'll leave a mess in the tank. And since he's kind of lazy, if you miss a day, it won't be a big deal because he doesn't need too much food. Oh, hi, Dave. Um, I'm terribly sorry um, and would appreciate it if you could um, feed my pet bird. Um, it doesn't eat very much, but as long as you um, provide some water and um, some seed, then the, the bird will be, be happy. But um, if you could keep an eye out for the local cat who is its arch enemy. Hey, Fumi, can you do me a favor? Help me feed my pet, Viper. Um, he's very friendly, so you don't have to worry about him biting you. Um, so just just go ahead, put your hand inside the cage, and feed him like five mice. Thanks. Hey, uh, this is Katya. Uh, listen, I can ask you for a favor. Could you pass uh, by my apartment? The key is under the mat. And if you can feed my dog um, the, the food, it's in the pantry on the bottom drawer. And uh, if you can just give him enough uh, for only about one night, uh, if he eats too much, it will not be a very good idea. And if you can just do that for me, that would be great. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Out of town. Out of town. I'm going to be out of town for two days. When people are out of town, they are away on a trip. Notice the following. 1. My parents are out of town for a few days, so I plan to have a party. 2. Bob is out of town for a month. Can I take a message? Leave a mess. Leave a mess. Don't feed him too much because it will leave a mess in the tank. When you leave a mess, you leave things dirty or cluttered. Notice the following. 1. If you cook dinner, please do not leave a mess. 2. The party has left a mess in the hotel room. It won't be a big deal. It won't be a big deal. If you miss a day, it won't be a big deal. When something is a big deal, it bothers people. Notice the following. 1. If you miss class, it won't be a big deal. 2. If you do not pay your taxes, eventually it will be a big deal. As long as. As long as. As long as you provide some water and some seed, then the bird will be happy. Hear the phrase, as long as, is a conditional phrase similar to if. Notice the following. 1. We plan to play tennis as long as it does not rain. 2. As long as you study, you should pass the class. Keep an eye out for. Keep an eye out for. Please keep an eye out for the local cat. When you keep an eye out for something, that means you are consciously looking for it. Notice the following. When I shop, I try to keep an eye out for bargains. 2. Parents must always keep an eye out for their children. What should be an Olympic sport? I think the Olympics focus a little too much on physical strength and prowess, so I would like to see something that is more skilled-based. 
So if you could have a type of craft that people would work on, so have competitive chair building or uh, competitive uh, brick stacking, people build something and whoever does the best one wins the gold medal. I'd pick sumo wrestling. Absolutely sumo wrestling. I think they're fantastic players. They're absolutely fantastic in the way they play, the ritual they follow. So it's an excellent sport. I think one sport uh, that I would like to see in the Olympics would be ballroom dancing. It's quite competitive. There are many good uh, couples and singles that can do a very good job. So I think ballroom dancing would be a really competitive uh, sport for the Olympics. I was actually in the Olympics program for Taekwondo when I was 15 um, and stopped. So I gave that up because it was just far too much, practicing every day after school and then all day, f Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'd prefer to live my life um, than get a gold medal, so which I probably would not have received anyway. So, um, yeah, I was able to do Taekwondo. Um, however, since then, uh, since I did give it up, um, it's just gone down the toilet, I must say. My choice would be chess for the Olympic. I think um, it's it can be a sport because it uses a lot of mental strength. Um, so that that would be my choice. Um, I don't think I would add any, but I would definitely take some away. <laughs> there are several sports that I don't like in the Olympics. Um, I know that curling is a really <laughs> old sport, but I don't like it. And I think it's boring and doesn't require the right skill for the Olympics. Prowess. Prowess. I think the Olympics focus a little too much on physical strength and prowess. When you have a lot of prowess at something, you are very skilled at it. Notice the following. One. He has a lot of prowess in fishing. 2. She showed prowess in the battlefield. Ritual. Ritual. They're absolutely fantastic in the way they play the ritual they follow. A ritual is a procedure you always do in a certain situation. Notice the following. 1. Many athletes follow a ritual before every match. 2. There is a ritual at each church service. Competitive. Competitive. I think ballroom dancing would be a really competitive sport for the Olympics. When you are competitive, you love winning and hate losing. Notice the following. 1. Usually, competitive companies survive. 2. Students like games because they are fun and competitive. They want to win. Give up. Give up. I gave Taekwondo up because it took too much time. If you give something up, you stop doing it on a regular basis, usually for some reason. Notice the following. 1. I used to ski a lot, but I gave it up after I hurt my knee. 2. She gave up drinking as soon as she got pregnant. Go down the toilet. Go down the toilet. My skills have gone down the toilet. When something goes down the toilet, that means it worsens in condition. Notice the following. 1. With the bad economy, my savings have gone down the toilet. 2. My grades are going down the toilet this term. Talent wish. I wish that... Uh, I was a ballet dancer. I think that'd be really awesome to be able to uh, stand on my tiptoes and be a beautiful uh, ballerina dancer like a swan. If I could choose one talent over, if I could choose one talent over anything else, I think that would be to be able to write nicely. My handwriting is so poor that even I have trouble reading it. So if I could magically get a new talent, that would be to have nice handwriting. I wish that 
I could play soccer. A lot of my friends enjoy playing soccer. When you travel to other parts of the world, people love soccer, and I'm always left out because I don't know what's going on, and I'm no good. So I feel that if I was able to play soccer, I would have an in with new friends and be able to meet some interesting new people. Um, I wish I was able to play the guitar to a high standard. Um, I have recently bought a guitar. However, I'm yet able to play. Um, it's something I feel that uh, is also kind of a, a social thing where you can you can play um, play certain music, which people will always respond to and enjoy. Uh, I wish that I could sing. I can't sing very well, I feel, but there are a lot of people who think I would have a good singing voice, but since I'm not very confident with singing, I never really try, and I don't know how to get better, so I wish I was just better at it automatically. I really wish I could speak some other languages. Um, I studied French when I was a kid, and I actually have forgotten most of it now, so I would like to go back and learn that again, but I'd also be interested in, in learning some other languages as well. Talent wish list. Magically. Magically. If I could magically get a new talent, that would be to have nice handwriting. We use the word magically to show something should not be possible. Notice the following. 1. Somehow, I magically got 100% on the test. 2. If I could magically make all my problems go away, I would, but unfortunately I can't. Left out. Left out. I'm always left out because I don't know what's going on. When you are left out, that means you are not included. Notice the following. 1. At the party I was left out because everyone was speaking Spanish. 2. All my friends can surf but me, so when we go to the beach, I feel left out. Have an in. Have an in. If I was able to play soccer, I would have an in with new friends. When you have an in, that means you have a personal connection to someone. Notice the following. 1. When she was in China... Because she was Irish, she had an in with students studying English. 2. My father's best friend is the boss of that company, so I have an in with them. Confident. Confident. I'm not very confident with singing. When you are confident at doing some activity, you think you can do it well. Notice the following. 1. He was confident he would pass the test. But he failed. 2. I just got my license, so I am still not confident driving on the highway yet. Automatically. Automatically. I was just better at it automatically. When something happens automatically, it happens without any prompting. Notice the following. 1. The newspaper subscription automatically renews each year. 2. My father always automatically starts washing the dishes after dinner. Favorite restaurant? Um, my favorite restaurant would have to be um, a chicken restaurant called Nando's. Um, their menu is predominantly chicken, um, and it's uh, Portuguese style, so it's it's spicy. You can choose your spice. Um, you can have it in the form of of chicken on the bone or you can have chicken burgers or chicken pitters and it's all very very tasty and you can choose what different sides you have and it's all very very nice um, my favorite restaurant is a italian restaurant uh, called um, napoli and it has some fantastic um, and delicious pizzas um, mostly using a thin thin um, thin base and again which is common in Italian cooking the the quality of the ingredients is, is really good and very very fresh and the cooking isn't um, you know isn't sort of a, a long process and so 
Uh, you really get a feel for the for the Mediterranean when you eat here. I'd say my favorite restaurant is uh, something that has a lot of variety. Um, I think it, it's quite common, maybe in a pub, especially to have uh, food not only from Canada but from around the world. So you might be able to get some some uh, Thai food or or uh, Japanese food, but uh, it's usually got a little bit of a Canadian twist to it. My favorite restaurant would have to be Nando's actually they have good uh good good uh, choices for different sizes of chicken from half to quarter to full size chickens and they've got different flavors in which they they they, uh, they spread on those chickens in which that you can get and the french fries that they can come with the with the chicken are also quite tasty um, my favorite, I don't really have much of a favorite restaurant, I guess. Um, right now, though, if I had to say my favorite restaurant would be, it'd probably be the Italian Tomato Cafe. Um, they serve a lot of different pastas. They actually have a really nice one on the menu at the moment with pumpkin and cream dressing. And it's just delicious. Yes, uh, there's a very good restaurant. It's a tacos restaurant. They have very good tacos um, with different kinds of sauces. Only one kind of meat, but the variety of sauces makes it really good. I think my favorite restaurant right now is a ramen noodle shop near where I live. It's my favorite because it's very cheap. It's less than $5 for one bowl of noodles, but you can actually get as many bowls as you want for that same one price. So it's very cheap, and it tastes all right, too. So that's where I go most often. Predominantly. Predominantly. The menu is predominantly chicken. Predominantly means mostly. Notice the following. 1. Sports fans are usually predominantly male. 2. In America, most politicians are predominantly rich, older white men. Base. Base. It has some fantastic delicious pizzas, mostly using thin base. The base of a soup or sauce is the most basic element that makes it. Notice the following. 1. The soup has a very salty base. 2. The pasta sauce requires a tomato base. Twist 2. Twist 2. It usually has a little bit of Canadian twist to it. Here, twist means style or flavour. Notice the following. 1. Most Hollywood movies have an American twist to them. 2. The story had an interesting twist to it. Tasty. Tasty. The french fries that come with the chicken are also quite tasty. Tasty is a casual way to say delicious. Notice the following. 1. That was a very tasty meal. 2. The soup was delicious, but the pasta was not very tasty. Just. Just. They actually have a really nice one on the menu, and it's just delicious. The word just can sometimes mean very. Notice the following. 1. Everything was just perfect at the wedding. 2. The ending to the movie was just incredible.